What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Straight Edge Show, back to review Unfriended Dark Web. So let's start off with the story. So you follow this guy who, who gets his new computer because his old computer was garbage. That's what he said. And why he needs this new computer? Because his doorfriend is deaf and instead of him learning sign language, he, he wants to create this program where they communicate better. But they're not on the greatest tones in their relationship. But on the same night, it's day and night, so his friends, they joke around, having fun, and just chatting up. While he's trying to fit, while he's chatting up with his friend, he's trying to fix his relationship. But his friends figured out the person that used to own, uh, used to be the owner of this computer, he was in some dark stuff. And he finds out, oh, this is the dark web. And he was, the dude was in some, some bad stuff. They found some footage, some of these videos of crazy stuff happening. Yeah, some crazy stuff. So the dark web stuff was pretty interesting. I really don't know nothing about the dark web, so it was interesting to find out the the, the dark web. Interest them stuff was pretty much interesting. I think uh, pretty much it, I think uh, it delivered on the dark web type of stuff and learning a little bit about it, a little bit about it, and and all the stuff was on that computer. Yeah, it was uh, yeah some crazy stuff was on that computer. And so that's all I'm gonna tell you about the story without giving any spoilers away. So let's talk about the characters. Overall, the characters is not really interesting at all. You really don't care for none of these characters. No, really, no character development in a movie, which I do. I expect that. I did not expect a lot of character development. A lot of characters I am rooting for. I just, I really don't care for none of these characters at all. And the first one, I only care for none of these characters. But what I did like, you just feel like you just watching normal people. Just normal people hanging out with friends, joking around, and just trying to have a good night. I did like that. You just felt like you was watching normal people. And I think uh, for this series, I think that's one thing it does right. Now, this is a found footage movie. I don't like found footage movies at all. But this one is alright. It's better than most found footage movies, especially... Paranormal Activity is better than any of them movies. Because them movies are complete garbage. This movie is alright. Definitely it has its problems. It's not the perfect movie. It's definitely ain't going to win no awards. But it's pretty entertaining. I pretty enjoyed myself. I It was... I enjoyed it. It's not the best movie. It's not a great movie. I'm not saying none of that. It's okay. It's You didn't have a fun experience. Is it scary? No. Does it have some jump stairs? Yes. Did it scare me? No. None of that. Oh, well, the performances? <laughs> All right. All right for this type of movie. I was not expecting great acting, but you, you got passable. It was passable for me. Maybe for not other people. Maybe some people think this acting is horrible, but... Um, it was alright for me. It did its job for me, because I'm not... I was not expecting A-plus acting. But it did its job for me. Uh, I did like I did like what the movie was doing, especially in the, uh, especially the ending and the plot twist in the end. I thought it has a very good ending. Overall, it's a pretty enjoyable movie. It was a pretty entertaining movie. I enjoy my time in this movie. Now, now if you like the first one, you really don't like the second one. I think I I was surprised I liked the first one, and I, and the second one is pretty good too. Now, is it, is it, is it, like I said, it's not great at all. I definitely, it's not the best horror movie. And I, I wouldn't even call it a horror movie. It's not really scary. Now, one thing I did not like, they have found out they have two different endings. Only thing changed about the, the second is the, is the ending. So, makes you want to go see it again. Is this movie don't make me want to see it again? No. It's not a movie I'm going to set myself, I'm going to see, oh, I need to see this again just to see the ending. No. I'm fine with the ending I died. I thought the ending I died was pretty good. And I'm and I was satisfied with the ending. But I think that just trying to ditch Hey, it's just hey, let's make another ending, but that really changed nothing. I I do not like that. I did not like that. That felt like a cash grab. And I definitely, definitely. But overall, I overall I was entertaining this movie. It was alright. I thought the story was fine. Definitely. Had his problems, like any other story did. But I don't want to go in detail because I do not want to spoil for anybody. But overall, 
I had a fun time with this movie. So I give Unfriended Dark Web a 6 out of a 10. If you like this review, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next Straight Edge Show review. Peace.